headset. through the pages though whenever we need it so it's not too it's not too big of a deal we're probably going to want to talk about skyhawks more than them yeah I'm Canada. i don't know they said they'll let us know so on air yet? the captains of both teams. Then, number 10, Dave Wafer for the uh, Abitibi Eskimos took the uh, ceremonial face-off. And number two for the Skyhawks. Win. Win. And now we're only a few minutes away from opening face-off. It looks like a good crowd this afternoon. I'm sure this is going to be a good hockey game today oh, yeah. uh, with the number two seeded North Bay Skyhawks taking on the number fifth seeded Abitibi Eskimos. Oh, I can't wait for this game to start. Both goalies look ready. You have Sean Sheehan in net for, Ab for the Abitibi Eskimos. And you have Luke Bochelle in net for your North Bay Skyhawks. And here we go with the opening. Face off. Kyle Van Gorner takes the ball from the West Bay. And David Tambo for the Abitibi the Eskimos. Skyhawks have the puck deep into the net. The puck stays in in the blue line. North Bay keeps it in. Styles can't get it out. Mogney keeps it in. MacArthur's behind the net. Comes around, loses the puck. It's still deep behind the net. There's a fight for it. Styles and Mutiny have it. And now Stick. Oh, North Bay has the puck back. Still fighting for it, trying to get loose in front. Puck goes right through the crease, coming up the other end. Whistler keeps it in. MacArthur has it back there. Mutiny picks it up. Out in front. No one's going to pick it up. Whistler has it, loses it. And here comes the Abitibi Eskimos out of the little 
just get it past the blue line and yet, and the Skyhawks toss it right back in. Styles takes the puck behind his own net, tosses it out, goes on, and the Abitibi, and that's an icing call. So far, the tempo of the game seems to be slow. It looked like the puck was tied up quite a bit down here in the Abitibi Eskimos end. Uh, I'm sure the North Bay Centennials will be looking to get it out to the point more, seeing how the Eskimos are keeping it down low yeah. in their end. To bring it to the point, they'll get more high quality shots and more scoring chances. North Bay loses the draw. Oh, has the puck behind Abitibi's net. Going around the corner, drops it off behind the net. Gaunt comes out, waits, tosses it behind the net again. McKee loses it, Bath's going for it. North Bay and Abitibi are having a nice fight out in the corner for it. North Bay gets the puck, goes off Bath's shoulder and back into the uh, corner. Golette has the puck in the corner again, holding on to it. Mitchell's holding him down to the ice. North Bay still has the puck, Landry has it now. Landry out in front, oh, puck's back to the point, Wynn has it. Wynn drives the puck back down into the corner. Bath and Wynn are now fighting for the puck. Wynn has won it. Back out in front, he shoots. Oh! Went off to let skate. And Sean Sheenan made the save. That was definitely a good cover up on that puck with two, uh, two North Bay Skyhawks floating around the front of the net. There was an opportunity there for a goal if he let that one go. Oh, yeah. And here we go. The face off is to the right of the Abitibi goalie. And North Bay wins that draw. Can't get it back, can't get it out of the skates. There we go. Lorette has it. He's behind the net. North Bay has the puck. Shoots, he scores! He stuck that in through the side door. Wendy <laughs> Alfred has that goal, and it's the first goal of the game. A beautiful play by Wanley Alfador to bring it out from behind the net and somehow make room for himself to get a shot between the goaltender's legs and put the North Bay Skyhawks ahead 1-0 early in the first period. Here we go, the face off at center ice again. That's North, North Bay wins that, tosses it back down into Abitibi's end. Adjor comes back for it. Abitibi, oh, he gets tripped up and there's a penalty going to the North Bay Skyhawks for tripping. A very costly play by North Bay after winning over the momentum. Now they're going to be shifting the momentum back. Crosshead has it, passes it back. Tremblay goes for it. Now Pauly. Tremblay has it. Tremblay down the far side, passes it across. Oh, just wide, still deep in the corner. But here comes North Bay getting the ball. Oh, can't get the puck out. Styles has it. Oh, Tremblay went for it. Has it deep in the corner. Back to Styles. Styles shoots. Loose puck out in front. Shoots! What a save! North, the Sky, Skyhawks now clear the puck out of their end. There's still a minute 20 left in the penalty. Styles has it. Styles starts skating. Styles drops it back. Passes it up to Her Cherkson. McKee took it for the Skyhawks. Cherkson has it again, back to Stead. Stead passes it up to Styles. Styles drills it into the end. O'Shell takes it for North Bay. The puck's down deep in the corner. Goes back to the point. Sticks has it. Sticks shoots. What a play. Goulette went down to make this block. North Bay can't get it out. Out in front. Goulette has it. There goes the puck. Passes it back. Oh, there's a costly give up in Abitibi's own end. McKee has it deep in Abitibi's end. Trying to get it for a faceoff, and he has it. There's still 37 seconds left in the Abitibi power play, so anything can still happen, but... Goulet made a great play down there by blocking that shot and giving the Skyhawks the opportunity to clear their zone and get a face-off deep in the other end of the arena. Now Brain takes the face-off for the Skyhawks, wins it back, holds on to it, holds on to it. Oh! I think the ref made a quick call, made a quick whistle on that because the clock was still loose and Bray had a chance to score. 
A beautiful play by Jerome Briere to make uh, room for himself to get a shot on net there. And here we go again to the left side. Wins it back. Quick shot. And he plays it off. North Bay still has the pressure on them, even though they're on the penalty kill. Mitchell has the puck for Abitibi now. Pass stolen. But it's offside, so North Bay retreats. Bath has it for Abitibi now. Behind his own net, starts it up. Makes a quick pass. Oh, there's a hit. And that's going to do it for the power play. The Skyhawks are doing a great penalty kill. There goes the path. Wynn has it back up. Mitchell loses it. And here's Breer, 2 on one He's, oh, just wide. Bath, get, Bath tries to get it out. Wynn keeps it in. Wynn, an Abitibi player loses his stick. Daly has it now. There's fighting in front. Back to the point. Shot in front. Oh, through the crease. Bath has the puck now. And now North Bay will go to the power play. The action's picking up a little here. Since North Bay killed off that penalty, they've just been going to the attack. So you got the Van Gromlin takes the trawl for the North Bay, just inside the blue line. And the puck is cleared down the ice. O'Shell comes out to play it, leaves it there for number five on the sky. The Gucci comes across, sets up, across, oh, off the skate. There's no penalty on the call. The puck gets drilled down to the ice. O'Shell comes out to play it again, leaves it there. Leaves it there for Kluche. Kluche comes across, passes it to Mullers. Mullers takes it in. North Kluche goes back to get the puck. O'Shell's a little bit out of his crease right now. Abitibi's making a quick change for the penalty line. Pilon, Styles. Oh, here comes Mutiny out. Midgley drops it off for Van Gulen. Can't really do anything. Styles is taking in the corner for it. The puck gets out and hits the red, gets past the center ice line. Mullen gets it now. Waits for the change by the Skyhawks and dumps it in. Pilon comes out, grabs the puck, right back to Styles. Styles beyond the net. Styles can't get rid of it. North Bay has it in the end. North Bay's doing a little tic tac toe. Oh, just wide. North Bay still has the puck. Best is it in for all. Oh, Daly just missed the puck there. Back to Blue Jay. Back to Daly. Back to Glather. Back to Wayne. Wayne shoots. Goal, North Bay. A little bit of tic tac toe right there. That's Brian, number 17. Jeremy Brian gets his first goal of the game. And it's a power play marker. Skyhawks. A beautiful goal there by the Skyhawks. Jerome Briere, the 18th leading scorer in the league right now, adds another tally up to his uh, scoreboard. Uh, that'll again. knock him up into a 17th face. place among the leading scorers Back here in win. the uh, league. Went over to Landry. Here we go. McKee has it. McKee's in deep in the corner. Skits is there with him. They're fighting for the puck. Abitibi can't get it out of their own end. Oh, there's a punch to the back. A little cheap stuff going off in the corner. There's Goulette passes it back. Can't see who has it for North Bay. Landry has it now. North Bay still has is it. Now there's a three on two break. Oh! And Sean Sheen is now getting a penalty for slashing. These goalies, that's. That's a, a very costly play. Being down 2 0 already, not even halfway through the first period, that's a bad play to put your team down the one player. I think Abiturabi should be taking time out right now to be getting their calm, collective souls back out, ready to play some hockey instead of taking dumb penalties. Adam Trost, oh, no, they're making a quick change. 
Walter is now taking the face off. North Bay wins that just outside. Kluche has it. Kluche is working up. Kluche works into the end. Kluche coming through. Kluche passes. Van Gulen can't do anything with it. Puck goes behind the net. Midgelin has it. Back to Van Gulen. Gulen has it behind the net. Gulen gets into the corner. Comes out. Abitibi uh, can't get the puck out of their own end yet. Passes it. Kluche shoots. Oh. Midgley has it now in the corner. Uh, there we go. Some rough stuff going off in the corner now. There you go. Oh, oh. We have a little rough stuff going now. Styles for Styles and Gatherer jostling it up a little in the corner. But the linesmen are in there to break it up. Both it, it, it almost seems as if the Eskimos really don't have their head in the game. They've been taking bad penalties. They're down two nothing already, and now rough stuff in the corner, which isn't needed with your team down that much. Oh, the two penalties on out. I believe North Bay got two for roughing, and Abititi got two for unsportsmanlike. And here we go, face off. Just outside the blue line. North Bay wins, Gather has it. Back to win, up to Daly. To Brienne. Brienne over, oh, loses the puck and it's out of their end. Gather and win, set it up again. Passes the cross, goes into the corner. Rear gets it out. No, they keep it in. Rear has it, dumps it back in. Daly's going for the puck now. Oh, there's a little hit. Daly still has it back to Gather. Gather across the wind. Wind shoots. Oh, just wide. Gather gets to the puck. Dumps it back in. Holtz getting it now. Dumps it off there. In front. Oh. Gather has it. The Eskimos are doing a bad job at clearing. Can't get it in. He shoots. Oh. Oh, Shell made the quick cover up to get a face off. There's 30 seconds left in North Bay's power play. North Bay wins the face-off grant. Gathered has it now. They're going to... Wynn has it. Wynn holds on. Wynn's de deep in the corner now. Dumps it off. Comes out. Oh, loses it to Dillette. Wynn has it back at the point. Gathered has it. Gathered shoot. Log. Gathered shoots again. Go North Bay! Jerome Grant has his second of the game. Another power play marker for him. Oh. What a ball. Jerome Briere with a beautiful pass from the point, wide open in front of that. He had all day to make that play. Abitibi Eskimo's defense has to be on him as soon as he is in front of the net. He shouldn't even be in front of the net. Gotta be thinking the Eskimo might be making a goalie change out for the first period since it's 3 0 already. Tumblay takes the draw for the Eskies, but North Bay wins it. Honeyset won that. North Bay has it. Back up. Oh! Honey sets in front of the net. Puck goes just wide. There's Cluche. Jumps! Oh, and O'Shell makes the quick. Sheeran makes the quick save. The Skyhawks are really all over this game, they're bad. The shots are 10 to 2 in favor of the Skyhawks here. And the score is 3 0 already. Honey sets going to take the draw for the uh, Skyhawks here, and he wins it back. Oh, uh, the Eskies take the puck out, passes it up, oh, puck's just out of the reach of Kromonski, and O'Shell will make his... Oh, I guess that doesn't count as a shot on net, so he just had to cover up that puck. And here we go. The draw is to the left. North Bay wins that, Kluche goes back for it. Lorenz up there, Honeyset. The puck gets out of North Bay's end. Honeyset's up there working on it. Makes a quick pass, gets intercepted by Lorette. Then it goes back to Cloutier. Cloutier sets it up to Aldor. 
Eldor comes. Oh, puck went out of the play. We're about halfway done this first period and 3 0 North Bay. And here we go, North Bay wins another draw. Whistler has the puck now. North Bay dumps it in. There goes Landry for the puck. Puck gets tossed around the other side and the puck escapes. McNeil's on his, with Cameroon. He loses the puck. Landry has it now for North Bay. In his own end, dumps it off. Puck goes into Abitibi's end. Could be no icing there. Goalie goes out to play. Oh! oh and we, it looks like we will have a penalty here for delay a game. Oh! The second penalty taken by Sheenan tonight. I'm sure Coach Paul Gagne for the Abitibi Eskimos is not going to be impressed with that call at all. He can't be too happy. And I believe the faceoff will be to the left of Sheenan, too. Seems after allowing three goals in the first period, Sheenan's head is just not in the game at all today. North Bay's making a quick change up here. Van Grusen will now take the draw for North Bay. Puck goes behind the net. Abitibi tries to get it out. Puck stays in. Kluche has it. Over. The puck gets dropped out, and there goes Fowler down for Abitibi. Michelle goes, plays it, dumps it down to Aldrin. He goes behind the net. He cracks it open on the far side. Tosses it to Van Gusen, who dumps it in. MacArthur goes for the puck, goes back to Kluche, who just keeps it in. Kluche sets up. Oh, goes off champagne stick. MacArthur has it now. MacArthur leaves it. Van Goosen has it. He's in the corner. He drops it to Whistler, who shoots. North Bay has the puck. Back to Cluche. Cluche shoots. Goes off the top of the puck. Still there. Whistler goes for it for North Bay. Dumps it there. Garther passes it back to MacArthur. Out in front. Whistler shoots. Oh, shot it, right at the goalie. A great save by Sheenan on that play. He was in the right position, squared up at the top of his crease. No problem making that save at all. There's still a minute left in North Bay's power play. Let's see if they can go three for three on it. Brainerd's going to take the draw for North Bay with Daly and Hollette as his ringers. Hollette goes into the puck, goes into the corner to get the puck. Brainerd comes out with it, digging for it over there. Daly goes for it, keeps it, back to the point, Wynn has it, over to Gather. Gather chases the puck. Rearn has it out in front. Oh, Sheena makes a poke check for it. Puck still in Abitibi's end. Gather has it. Wynn now has it, Wynn's going for it. Gather lost his stick on the play. Rearn has it, shoots, oh. And the puck goes out of Abitibi's end and down into North Base. O'Shell goes out to play. It leaves it there for when. Gather Bria in her back. Sets it up now. Gather takes the puck up and over. Hollett's on his side. Brand's going for the puck. And that's offside on of North Bay. And that's going to do it for the power play because there's four seconds left. Tremblay's going to take it for Abitibi and Landry for North Bay. North Bay wins it, and that's all for the penalty. With eight minutes left in the game, North Bay sets up behind their own net. Comes out, passes it. Gullet has it now. Dumps it into Abitibi's end. Landry's digging for it now. Now McKee's digging for it. Little hit. Dumps it behind the far side. Polly's going for it. Goulette keeps it in. Goulette dumps it back down. McKee's going for the puck now. McKee still has it. Loses it. Bath has the puck for Abitibi now. Now Brian has it. Or sorry, Goulette had it for North Bay. Now Landry has it. Landry's in the corner, setting up. Turns around, going back into the corner. Goulette's out in front. Goulette shoots. Oh! Nice save by Sheenan on that play. Abitibi's. 
Gene is being hit with 13 shots so far. Rabatibi only has three. They should get their offense going, give their defense and goaltender a little break. Kundaset win the draw. North Bay with a quick shot. Wide of the net. Lorette has it behind the net. Lorette out in front. Oh! Went right through the clean. LaFontaine has it, drops it back in. Lorette goes for it. Now Honeyset's going for it in the corner. Honeyset has it. Now Lorette has it. Champagne for Abitibi's going for it. Honeyset has it. There's another quick stoppage as Sheenan covers up. Got some Abitibi fans in the stands tonight. Whistler has it, he makes a shot. Pucks lose, pucks lose, but Odora misses. Honeyset has the puck back behind Abitibi's net. Now it's Alger that has it, he comes out, he's fighting with Bath for it. Puck goes out to Sharon and he makes the covers up to get the draw. North Bay really applying the pressure here. Uh, some extra curriculars right after the play here by Lordy. And it looks like it may cause Skyhawks to go down one player. No, Loretta's is heading to the box now. I believe it's going to be. Not sure what the call is going to be. Maybe two minutes for our interference. And the flash. fans are not pleased with that call at all. Not one bit. I know Abitibi will get the second power play of the game, but let's see if they can get any shots on that this time. Goulet takes the draw, wins it for North Bay. There, here comes Abitibi. Champagne over. Puck just goes past Tremblay. Wynn has it. Wynn takes it out. Puck stays in. Sherman has it again. Sherman drops it off. Picks it up. Tambone out in front. McKee has it. Drops it down the ice. Sheena comes out to play it. Leaves it there for Stitz. Stitz and Styles are out on defense for Abitibi. Camerland is out. Tamo and I'm not... And Moore is also out for Abitibi. Stitz has it in his end. Goes behind his net. They're going to get reorganized and set it up again. Here comes Stitt. Drops it off for Styles. Styles takes it up. Styles gets past Goulet. Drops it in. Here comes Tam Mo, and Moore's still out there. The puck stayed in. Styles has it now. Styles shoots. That's a nice save. Nice block shot by Gathered. Puck still in. Styles has it. Dumps it into the corner. Tamblay has it. Moore's going for it now. Wynn's trying to get it out of his own end. Moore has it, trying to get it out in front. Can't get it. And North, oh! Another penalty to North Bay, this time to Golette. Two minutes for hooking. This may be the uh, Eskimos' chance here to get themselves on the uh, momentum side of the game here. They have a two-player advantage. Uh, down 3 nothing uh, late in the first period. You're probably going to want to get something going for the second period to bring some momentum in to have a chance to win this game. They're going to have the two minutes. They're going to have the two-man advantage for two minutes and 48 seconds right now. Face off deep in North Bay's end. A Champlain's going to take grab a tippy. North Bay wins the draw and gets, keeps the puck in. Stitz keeps it in. Stitz sets it up to Walfer. Walfer down low. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Back to Walfer. Walfer to Stitz. Stitz has it back to Walfer. Walfer shoots. That's a nice block shot. Stitz has it again. Stitz over to Walfer. The North Bay's blocking all the passing lanes right now. Stitz has it once again. Drops it off for Lafleur. Back to Lafleur. Lafleur has it in the corner. Waits, waits, still waiting. Passes it back to Stitz. Stitz over to Waffle. Waffle passes. Oh! LeBel just missed it. The first penalty's done now. It's only a five on four. Over to Stitz. Here comes Honey Set out now. O'Shell grabs the puck and gets a face off. Abitibi still has a minute 05. Can't see who that was that just fell. I believe it was Jesse LaBelle who fell. And now there's some chitting chatting going between LaBelle and Landry. Little mix up here. Looks like these two are really fired up and ready to go. LaBelle's getting a penalty for high sticking and 
I believe it's Wynn getting the other one. Oh no, sorry, it's Whistler getting the other penalty, getting the penalty for North Bay. Pamblay will be taking it, and I'm guessing Van Gulen will be taking it for North Bay. Campbell's out to take face off for Abitibi. Minute five left in the power play. North Bay wins it again. Puck stays in. Honeyset takes it now. You got a two on one breaking out, and not much happened on that. Sharon covers up. A great defensive play there by Styles for the Eskimos, not letting the uh, Skyhawk forward go to the net. North Bay wins it. Thurman has it back to Bath. Bath goes around his own night net. Bath gets everything set up for, I guess, in the last rush of this power play with 40 seconds left. Bath is stuck in his own end. Honey says doing a good penalty kill. Tamblay has it for Abitibi and loses it to win. Now Styles has it. Styles back in his own net, back to power. Great forechecking by the North Bay Skyhawks Bath here. Passed it up. Here kill. comes Camaro in a race for it with Fred. Van Goon. Van Goon's gets there. Back to Bath. Bath sets up. Bath across the stuff. Stick shoot. Score! I'm a Tibby. And I believe that was Dan Walfer who plays defense for them, got that goal. It's a power play marker and it's now 3 1 North Bay. And Tambo gathers up the garbage off that point shot there and uh, puts that up uh, top where Mum keeps the jam. North Bay wins the face off at center ice. The puck goes to Cluche. Cluche sets up, passes it back, sets it up again. Here we go. MacArthur has a little bit of a break. One stick on it. Hydro oh, and there's another penalty. We got a penalty coming here to the Abitibi Eskimos for, for hooking. hooking. I believe it is number 21, Taylor Moore, getting two minutes for hooking. And here we go. El Dador will take the face off for North Bay. Gets set up. Loses the draw to Temple. Migny has it now. Dumps it back in behind the net. MacArthur goes for it. But Stiles gets there first. Stiles tosses it up. Kluche keeps it in. Kluche getting set up. Kluche shoots. Nice save by Sheen in there. Pauly clears it out now. And now North Bay's on the power play as O'Shell comes out to play the puck. Kluche has it. Kluche setting up. Kluche passes it. Al Jaro has it now. Oh, and it's offside North Bay. There's 3.10 left to play in the first period. Yeah. And the shots on net are looking brutal. The Eskimos have really picked up their pace here, though. Although they're not getting shots on net, they're getting the puck deep into the Skyhawk zone, and they're just not generating the shots that they should be. North Bay wins it. Gather goes back to pick it up. Deep in his own end. Holy had pressure, but he's... Lost his edge with Cal. Here comes Galt. Oh, Abitibi stole the puck. Abitibi gets it out of their own end. Here comes Gather now. Sets it up to win. Win back to Gather. Back up to Daly. Daly shoots. Oh, just fly. Honeyset keeps it in. Back to Gather. Gather dumps it in. Hallett doesn't get it. But Grant's there. Daly, sorry. Win goes for it now. They keep it in, Pauly gets it, but the honey set steals it from him. North Bay gets set up, walks in, go North Bay! Another! Another power play marker for the North Bay Skyhawks. Nathan Daly scored that goal. 4-1 North Bay. Oh, they're just taking this game and they're running. A nice shot there by Daly. He took his time in the slot, looked for uh, all the passing lanes. He found none, took the shot, Vangula's and going. nothing can, nothing can come bad with taking a shot on the net. Sets it up. Kluche has it. Kluche passes it back. And here we go. MacArthur's getting deep in there. Mitzi goes for it. Here comes Laffer for Tibby. Tibby out. Wolfer has it now. 
But North Bay gets it and tries, MacArthur has it, loses it to Mitchell. Mullins is trying to get it out of his own end, can. Nell Van Gulen has it behind his own net. Gets set up, gets it out of the North Bay end. I believe that's Midget with it now. Champlain takes it, gets it, gives it to Cameo, who sets it all up. Oh, Cloutier steals that for North Bay. Still deep in his own end, being hassled by Lafers over there. Passes it back to Wal Walfler. Flutre has it now. Flutre waves, turns around, passes it back to Mullen. Mullen can't keep control of it. Flutre finally gets it out of his own end, starts coming up the near side. Goulet has it, dumps it in. Puck just gets out past McKee, and now Tremblot's going to. Puck goes back. Goulet has it with McKee on the far side. McKee passes it back to Whistler. Whistler shoots. Oh, hit something out in front. There's now 50 seconds to play in the first period. Sheenan goes back. Doulette takes it. Doulette sets up. McKee with the high stick. So North, there you go. Puck gets out of the end. Goulette has it. Goulette sets up for McKee. McKee goes around Stitz. McKee up and over. Oh. And Sheenan's there to cover up with 33 seconds left in this first period. Nice work by McKee to get to the net there. Very strong play, holding the defender off of his arm, making his way to the net and getting a shot off. That is the 18th shot on net for the North Bay Skyhawks. To have a tip, he's five. That's 13 shot difference. You gotta start getting your troops ready for this stuff. Landry's gonna take the face off for North Bay. Landry back to the point. That Fontaine drops it in. Landry's going for it. So is Goulette. Goulette's going to get there. Drops it off. Landry gets it. He's deep in the corner. Gets loose. Landry loses control of the puck. Goulette's going for it. No one can get to that puck. There goes Landry for it. Tried to drop it out. Appetit, he steals, and it's a two-on-two. -two. Turned out to be on three-on-two. Foley has the puck on the close side. Coming up. Foley shoots. What a save. And the puck gets dropped down, and that should do it for the first period. A beautiful save by O'Shell there at the end of the period. You gotta like the way North Bay played in that first period. Oh, you sure do. There's nothing too bad you can say about it. Great defense, only allowing six shots on net. Magnificent offense, putting four goals up on the board for the first period. 18 shots in the first period. You think the game would be over with 18 shots? And now has six, they have to get something going because nothing's working for them. I assure you that Paul Gagne, coach of the uh, Abitibi Eskimos, is going to have some choice words for his troops when he gets into the locker room. I'm sure Gabe Blanchard is just going to say, keep doing what you did in the first period to those Skyhawks because they were just flying. Ladies and gentlemen, here they come, Tim Horton, Tim Bitts. And now we've got a little Tim Horton, Tim Bitts coming out here to play a little four-minute game of hockey. You gotta love it when the little four or five year olds come out to play a little hockey. It's ni nice to see somebody get the community children involved in events like this. Yeah, it's just something. And the coaches are coming out to just play a little hockey with them. Yeah, like the four minutes of the hockey here. Here comes the Timbits coming on net. Oh, you gotta love this. You're looking at the future of hockey right here. Oh, you got a breakaway. Here comes 16. Oh, number 10's catching up. He shoots. Oh, just why? You gotta love this stuff. It takes you back being a kid. And here they come again. All oh, 16 steals the puck. Here he comes in on net. Falls. Oh. Here we go.
goes into the corner. Number 10 for, for White gets it. It's a little four on four action here. Here comes the darks. They're, oh, they lose the puck. Five for White has it now. Here we go. Keeps the puck in. Oh, oh and some extracurriculars at the blue line there with a huge hit late on number five. Oh, you gotta love it. Here comes six for White in. Not really passing the puck. There you go. Six has it for White again. Oh. Oh, six has it now. Really just pushing that puck along into the boards. Gets past one defender, gets past two defenders. Go on. Oh, takes him out, loose puck. That is a train wreck, folks. Oh. There's about a minute 40 left in this 10-bit hockey, and it's some good action. Maybe Abbott Tibby should take notes from them. Here we go again, 10 on net, shoots, oh, just wide. Colors, it. oh, here we go, oh, loses the puck, 10 drops it back in, 17 for, for the darks are getting it. And White really seems to be throwing the body around out here. Here we go, two's going for it, oh. Passes out wide, I believe that's number six going for the puck right now. Yes, it is. What a slap shot, A my laser friend. beam let go from the point there by number six. Just yeah. missed it. Oh. One minute left. Six for White keeps it in. Not, not much else happening. I'm sure the goalie at the other end is pretty bored right now. Here comes the darks. They get it cleared up. Oh. Number two has it. It's a two on none. He shoots! Oh! A magnificent save by the goaltender oh. on the white side. How did he get over to make that save? Six drops it into the corner for Whites with 20 seconds left. Five has it now. He slips. Two for White has it. Sets it up out in front. Shoots. Oh, another save by the goaltender. There we go. And that should do it for the game. for the Timbits coming out here and playing. And a big round of applause give for the little fellas out there on the ice, who I'm sure enjoyed this. Uh, I'm sure they enjoyed it a lot. And there we go. We're going to hit the first intermission. So Tony, what are your thoughts on the first period so far? Well, so far, Matt, uh, I think it's obvious to everyone that the Skyhawks are all over the Eskimos in this game. It seems the Eskimos just aren't in the game right yet. Uh, they had, they really had a shift in momentum when they had the two-player advantage, but after that, it seemed to go straight downhill for them. And I think, I think, I think what uh, Paul Gagne is going to want to do with his team here is get them to have a better breakout. It seems they're losing the puck before it gets out of their own end, which is costing them in the long run. That is the reason why they're down three goals here at the end of the first period. I think it was also the dumb penalties they take. The goalie gets two, one for slashing and one for delay a game. You gotta be thinking better than that. Those kind of penalties are really gonna cost your team. I know. Sure are. North Bay, on the other hand, are just having an easy time. I'm sure O'Shell's getting pretty bored. I'm shocked he hasn't cracked open the newspaper yet to read it. I'm sure, I'm sure he is. Being the second goaltender in the league, he's been faced with lots of shots, and I'm sure only being faced with six shots in the first period is not a problem for him. No, Sharon, on the other hand, where is he from, actually? Sorry, who's that, Matt? The goalie, Sharon. Sheenan, he uh, Sheenan, hailed my back. for the Abitibi Eskimos. He hails from um, Queens, New York, actually. Come play in Abitibi with his teammates here. Oh, that's long distance. It sure is to come play hockey here in the uh, Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Sorry, seven points of the Sioux Junior Greyhounds. Who are, who are having a great season this season. 
led by their defenseman Trevor Daly. Great defensive defenseman. He also has the scoring touch. He does a lot for their team in the Sioux. Oh, yeah? Oh. Can't go wrong when your defense is leading the score. And here we go again. Getting ready. Abbott Tippy and North Cape both hit the ice. Getting a little faster. Sheenan's still in that. And here we go, getting ready for the... Oh, little chit-chatting between, between Bath and Fuche uh, there. And here we go, getting set for the second period. Both teams have changed ends. O'Shell's in net. And Sheenan just had to go grab his water bottle on the bench. And here we go. We're getting set up. Van Gogh's gonna take it and for North Bay. And Champagne number six for the Abitibi Eskimos. The Eskimos have the puck in their end. They're starting it up. Oh, Champagne gets a pass. Blue Drake's there to get the puck. Keeps it. Cameron's there to get it. Van Koonsen's, oh! Looks like we're gonna have a penalty call here. Not sure to who, but... Oh, MacArthur's going to the box. Two minutes for interference. So Abitibi, right off the bat, gets a chance to get right back into this game with another goal. This is really gonna give them the advantage here. Two, the two minutes down the man. One minute into the second period, looking to grab the momentum. This is their opportunity here. Honeyset takes a draw for North Bay. Wins it back to the point. LaFontaine just drills it down, gets past, dials it back into the Abitibi end. Sheen is there to get it. Bath picks it up. Bath behind his net. Sets up. Moore has it now. Keeps the puck. Gets past one defender. Moore on the close side. Jumps behind the net. Bath is going for the puck now, it's off the back. Moore has to be on the North Bay net, loses it to LaFontaine. Tambro gets in there, hits LaFontaine. They're digging at the puck. Gold Abbott, heavy. That came quick. As Wolfer scored the goal. And then Abbott Tibby's right back into this game, folks, as it's four to two. A weak goal given up there by uh, Sheenan. Oh, Shell, I'm not sure if he, uh, if that's going to help his team out a lot. With Eskimos looking for the momentum, this just may give them the boost that they need. Here we go again, getting ready for the face off of center ice. Tam Blay and Brian are going to take the draw. Freer. Freer wins it for North Bay to Daly. Daly to Whistler, who drops it into North Bay end. O'Shane face the puck for Abitibia. There we go, Moore has the puck, loses it. Daly drops it in, back out in front. Holt has it now, Holt shoots, goes right through the crease, and here comes Abitibi out. Gets past one defender, the puck gets out of the end, but Brianna's there to pick it up, drop it right back in. Tambro comes through, drops it back. Bath has the puck now. Bath tosses it up to Moore, gets past, and here we go again. Tambro has it, passes it there. Walfer has it now. Russell gets it out right to Daly. Daly drops it back. And now Stitz has it. Or sorry, Styles has the puck. To Tambo, to Walfer. Back to Tambo. Here's a two on one. Nice play by the North Bay defense. And here we go with the two on two. Two on three. North Bay shoots just wide of the net, goes into the corner. Tambo picks up the puck. Still has it. Camblin drops it in. The foot. Dolphin is going for it now. The puck gets out of North, North Bay's end. Landry has it. No. Wynn picks it up. No, Landry has it. Stolen by Laffer. Wynn has it. Wynn takes the puck. Drops it into the North, to the Abitibi end. Laffer has it. Back to Wynn steals it. Wynn shoots. Oh! High shot. McKee has it now. Oh, McKee loses the puck. Landry has it. Landry deep. In the Abitibi end, McKee has it. McKee's waiting. 
Oh, they're hustling for it now. I believe Champagne's going for it too. And Shannon loses it. Back to the point. Win has it. Over. Shoots. Oh, and a cover up by Sheenan who went out of his net and was just laying there like a couch. Sheenan made it back to his crease just in time to make that save. He was really out of position, but he made his way back. A little rough stuff going on, but nothing too serious. I'm sure when Abitibi scored at the end, Oshel wasn't really ready, seeing how it, it was one shot on that. Another penalty, a penalty to McKee now. Not sure what that's for, but he's off into the box. Another player, another power play for Abitibi. What is North Bay thinking right now? Landry wins the face-off drop. Landry takes it into his own end, waits, waits, dumps it down. Oh, gets stuck in the ref. Paulie has it. Paulie drops it. Gather's going for it. So strongly. Gather gets it. Stitz keeps it in. Stitz passes it to Sharman. Sharman has it. Trombley has it now. Trombley jumps it back in. Komiski has the puck. He's taking for it. Passes it back out to Pauly. Pauly out in front, shoots. Oh! Puck still loose out in front, and Wynn gets rid of it. Gather now. Oh! Stitz keeps it in, Stitz. Stitz shoots. Oh! Oshel makes a nice glove save. A great play by Stitt there on the point to keep the puck in his zone. Pass the North Bay Skyhawk forward and get a good shot on net. North Bay is going. Both teams are going to make a quick change up here. Oshel's going to. Get a little focus as he made a nice glove save there and hold on to the puck. Tambo's going to take the face off, and I believe Honeyset is going to take it to North Bay. North Bay wins the draw back into the corner. They keep. Abitibi loses it to Honeyset. Here comes Honeyset out by himself. It's a one on three. Honeyset turns. Oh, and Abitibi's going to get a penalty now. Honeyset tripped up, and that's going to send the North Bay or the Abitibi Eskimos on the penalty kill. I believe Bass is going to get the penalty. So, in a minute 05, with North Bay penalty over, they'll be on the power play for a few seconds. So, Seeing that Abitibi did has gained a bit of momentum from this from the, the first period till now. Yes, North Bay still looking for the first shot on that. As we come close to the five minute way through the first period, Russell takes a shot, goes wide. Lafontaine there to pick up the puck. Lafontaine back to Van Goon. Van Goon shoots. Oh, just tipped a little wide by Midgley. Abitibi has it. As Styles has it. Styles is. Playing around with the puck in his own end. Van Cohn went for it. Here we go. I believe Abitibi. Oh, North Bay still has the puck in the Abitibi end. Champagne tries to get it out, and he does. Lafontaine's there to pick it up. Champagne, oh, tosses it with his hand down. Wilson's coming down to get the pet with Camberlin on his tail. Wilson turns around, passes it to Lafontaine. Lafontaine. North Bay has it. Uh, Abitibi steals it. North Bay stole the puck, shoots just wide. Duntlake tries to get it out. North Bay keeps it in. We got it. Oh. Oh, lost the puck. All right, here we go. North Bay wins it. Wynn has the puck. Drops it in. North Bay is now on the power play for 40 seconds. Gathered back to Wynn. Wynn passes all. Oh, just wide. Mitchell now drills it out. Gathered keeps it in. Went down to get it. Abitibi gets it out of the end. North Bay will have one more chance to get it set up. Here comes Daly. Daly dumps it in. Goes off the lead. Mitchell gets hit, couldn't get rid of the puck. Oh, Mitchell is down in pain. Mitchell is down, looked like the hit could have hurt him. It's getting up very slowly, folks. I think the wind was knocked out of him, not quite too sure about it. It's 
Styles is now going to come out, making a quick change up with his 14 seconds left in the penalty kill. Brienne's going to take the face off for North Bay, wins it back. Styles steals it in the corner. Brienne goes for it, out to Win. Win loses it. Uh oh, there could be a two on one forming. Loses it. Moore goes for it. Moore comes out. Bass is now out of the penalty box. O'Shea holds. Gets down and holds onto the puck. Let's gather. Oh, little rough stuff going on here. Got a little hockey music playing right now. We've passed the five minute mark in the second period. Four to two, North Bay. Face off's going to be to the right of Ochel. Tambrol's going to take it for Abitibi. Styles and Stitz are back at the point. Moore's out there. Moore's out and so, and so is Waffler. Tambrol wins it. Tosses it back. Ojor has it for North Bay. Sets it up. Kluge now has the puck. Kluge passes it out. Sets it up. Well, let's open on the first side strips. Not close to the net. MacArthur drops it back in there. Abitipi takes the puck. Hooking it up. Kluge has it for North Bay now. Dumps it right back into the Abitipi end. Styles has it. Dumps it out. And I believe that's an icing call. And yes, the Abitibi Eskimos get the icing call. We're getting close to the halfway mark of the second period. Face off going to be to the left of the Abitibi goalie. Think Honeyscout's going to take it for North Bay. Wins the draw. Abitibi steals it. Sets up. Here we go. Mitchell has it. Can't get around. Oh, does. Gets taken down. Champlain has it now. Passes it out front. Out front. Oh! Abitibi shoots. Oh, just wide. Champagne's going for it. Oh, what a hit by Arthur there. He shoots. Oh, just wide. Mitchell has it. North Bay's going to get a penalty now. And here we go. No. Looks like we got a penalty for holding here coming in the North Bay Skyhawks. I believe it is uh, five. It is, it's Mullen. Jeremy Mullins will get the penalty. And Abitibi hits the power play once again. Skyhawks are really giving Abitibi a, a chance here to get back into this game. We're going to set it up to the right of the North Bay goaltender. Tremblay is going to take it. Tremblay wins it for Abitibi, but North Bay takes the puck right back and clears it down the ice. Sheena comes up to play the puck with Bath right behind him. Bath grabs the puck for Abitibi and starts from his own end. Dumps it up to Tremblay, who dumps it into the end. And that's icing on Abitibi. That's just bad play calling. Cardinal mistake there, icing the play uh, on a power play. And here we go, face off in the Abitibi end. Goulet's going to take it for the North for North Bay, and Tremblay's going to take it for Abitibi. Oh, Tremblay got kicked out, and Tremoski took the face off. Abitibi has the puck as Stitz has it. He starts coming out, drops it off. North Bay has the puck right back. McKee has the puck for North Bay now. Back to LaFontaine. LaFontaine sets it up, loses control of the puck. His Paul is following him. And Tramowski has that. Oh, Trombley for Abitibi has it. They're setting it up. LaFontaine has it, tries to get it out, goes to Stitz. Trombley drops it back in, goes past right to Tramowski. Tramowski has the puck, drops it right back. Stitz has it back at the point, sticks to Trombley. Trombley, oh, what a play. McKee has the puck now coming down the far end. 
gets bumped by the rod from North Bay. Still, so Abitibi takes it. And here comes Abitibi as Tromboy has it. Shoots. Nice save by O'Shell. That's a high stick. And we have a high stick called here with 11.47 remaining in the second period. Some Abitibi fans aren't happy about that. And some North Bay fans aren't happy either. No one's getting happy with these penalty call-ins. And here we go, 10 men's going to take it for Abitibi. And Van, Van Gruelen's going to take, oh, is it Van Gruelen? Yes, Van Gruelen's going to take it for North Bay. Seems to be a little confusion here as to where the face-off should be held. We're waiting to drop the puck here. There we go, North Bay wins it and clears it down the ice with 40 seconds left in the penalty kill. Styles has it now for Abitibi as they hook up, but when takes that center ice, drops, Honeyset has it, drops back in. Stitz has to set, Styles has to set up again, and here we go. Styles has the puck with Mitchell out there on the other point. Styles comes through. Gaffer has it, drops it. Oh, bad bounce. Abitibi has it in front of the net. And and O'Shell covers up. Nice save by O'Shell after a wild bounce off the glass. There's 10 seconds left in Abitibi's power play. And we're almost at the halfway mark for the game again, for the second period. Abitibi wins the draw. Mitchell takes a quick shot. Out in front, Wynn blocks it. Champon has it, he's deep in the corner. The power play is over, MacArthur's back out on the ice. North Bay's digging for it, now Wynn has it to MacArthur. MacArthur's setting up. MacArthur to Midsley, Midsley shoots just wide. Midsley has it again, drops it off for MacArthur. MacArthur's digging in the corner for it. Champagne for Abitib is there. And so Styles. They're still digging for that puck. And the ref finally blows the whistle And the, the puck is on. frozen deep in the Abitibi zone. North Bay is still looking for its first shot on that in the second period, and we're almost halfway through the second period. Abitibi makes a quick change off here. Got some rest of players back out on the ice. Van Gruelen's going to take the draw. Oh, no. Van Gruelen gets kicked out. MacArthur's going to take the draw. Loses it. Abitibi has the puck now. Abitibi's setting their own end. Puck goes down the ice. No ice as the puck goes right to O'Shell, who plays it himself. Off the bar, it's MacArthur. Right to Van Gruelen. Van Gruelen down the wing. Midsley going with him. Van Gruelen shoots. Nice save by Sheen in there. And here we go. The puck gets past Mullins. And Trombley has it, it's two on one. Trombley waits, shoots, oh, what a save. Trombley still has the puck, comes around the other end. Puck's loose out in front, North Bay clears it. Pauly has it now, Pauly's setting up. Falls, and North Bay's gonna, North Bay's gonna start a three on two. Van Gulen drops it off, Midgley has it, tosses out in front, no one's there. Pauly can't get to the puck for Abitibi. Pauly finally gets to the puck. Trombley has it, can't do anything with it. Briere has it, hooking it up. Poulet has the puck, it's offside, and there's the whistle. Some great high-paced two-way action here in the middle of the second period. North Bay still up, 4-2, but still looking for their first shot on net here in the second period. Briere's going to take the draw for North Bay. Wins it back to Lafontaine. Lafontaine across to Wilson. Wilson back to Lafontaine. Lafontaine setting up. Lafontaine passes to Briere. Briere passes it to Holt. Boulette's uh, holding on to Holt. Daly still gets the puck. Daly comes out, out in front. Collins City gets the puck. Wilson's there. Passes it back. Boulette has it. And here comes Abitibi. 
as they just drop it in the North Bay end. No shells out there to play the puck. Bustle's there to pick it up behind his own net. Still waiting. Oh, costly giveaway! Good defensive play there by Wilson, who gave up the puck. And the puck shot down the ice, and it will be no ice. Icing was waved off. Here comes Abitibi, drops the puck in into the North Bay zone. Daly's there to pick up the puck. Daly sets it up. Oh, Abitibi takes the puck as that champagne and the bell. North Bay steals the puck and drops it into the North Bay zone. There's Styles to pick up the puck. Try to keep the mic in one place in front of your mouth. Okay? They're hustling. Oh, there's a quick whistle. There's eight minutes left in this first in this second period. Sorry about that. Four to two North Bay. The shots on net are even because North Bay still hasn't had a shot in this second period. They really came out firing here in the second period. Landry loses the draw, but gets the puck back, and Sheena makes a quick drop on it. Just a quick stat here. Uh, the North Bay Skyhawks haven't had one shot on net thus far this period, and the Abitibi Eskimos have already had nine, capitalizing on one of them. Here we go again. Landry taking the face off for the Skyhawks. Wins it back to Wynn. Wynn can't get a clear shot. Drops it off in the corner. McKee picks it up. McKee comes out in front. Tries to... Wynn still has the puck in the corner. His bath is watching over him now. Landry goes for the puck. He gets it. The Champagne's watching all... Is all over him. Back to Gave. The bell's going to. Oh, North Bay still has the puck. Landry can't get a shot away. And the puck's going to go out of the Abitibi zone. Gathers there to get it. Passes it to Wynn. Wynn gets it out of the zone. And Bath is there to pick up the puck for Abitibi. Lebrel's there to get it. Now Tremblay, who comes through. Oh! Went through the crease, no one was there. Wynn has the puck now, Wynn drops it off. And here we go, Landry gets the puck deep in the North Bay. Wynn has it, Landry's going for the puck, gets it dropped out. Here we go, McKee's going for the puck, gets it taken away, here's LaBelle. LaBelle shoots, quick shot, and there's a save by O'Shell. Abitibi now has 16 shots on that. I really don't know what's going on with these North Bay Skyhawks. They should be shooting the puck a lot more. So, you know, they had four goals in the first period. And here we go. Honeyset gets set up to take the draw for North Bay. North Bay loses it to Abitibi. Abitibi loses the puck right back to North Bay, and the puck gets cleared down the ice, and there is an icing, icing call. The puck will come right back into the North Bay end for another face-off. Okay. North Bay wins the draw. As Olet tries to get it out over there to Laurier. Honeyset has it now, as it is a two-on-one. Honeyset shoots, oh! Nice block by Stitz. Back to the point. Lorette goes for the puck with Styles now in the corner. Honey says there to help him. The puck is past Mullins. And Cloutier is there to pick it up. Cloutier and Mullins go for it. Mullins still has it. In his own end gets it there to Al Draw. Who gets the puck out as Honey Set picks it up. Honey Set drops it into the Abitibi end. Sells there to pick up the puck, and Kluge can't keep it in. And there goes Tambo and Mullins for the puck. Mullins gets there first. Uh, Gerard has the puck now for North Bay. Comes across the blue line, but it's offside, so he has to wait. Abitibi steals the puck. Champagne has it now. North Bay tries to get it out. Mitchell has it at the point. Mitchell shoots, go just wide. MacArthur has it, waits. There's five minutes left in this first period.
North Bay gets the puck out. Mitchell's going down to pick it up for Abitibi. Sets it up. Over there to Lafayette. North Bay picks it up. I believe that's... Not sure who picked that puck up from North Bay. Whistler has it now. He takes a shot at the point, just wide. And the puck is getting out, and here we go. Lawlier has it. Can't get a shot off, though, as Wendler made a nice play. Cambrian makes the Tries to get the puck for Abbott's heavy. North Bay's Van Gruen goes for the puck. Abitibi picks it up, gets it out of their own end. There's Trombley to pick it up. Trombley drops it into the North Bay end. Trombley goes for it, passes it, loses it, loses it. Here comes Daly. Daly to Brianne. Brianne gets set up, waits, gets the shot on net. And North Bay finally has their 19th shot on net. First of this period with 420 left in it. It took North Bay 15 minutes and 40 seconds to register their first shot go. on net here in the second Grant period. takes the face off, wins it, shoots. There's another shot on, North, on net for North Bay. Here we go, face off. Puck goes behind Abitibi's end. Walther's there to pick it up. Tries to get it out of the end and doesn't. Grant takes another shot. Hullet's there to pick up the puck. Gathers being the point. Finally, Walther's there to pick up the puck. Heads it out. Can't get the puck out of their own end as Daly and Brianne are both there. Shoots! Oh! That's a nice save out in front again. Oh! And Sheenan's there to make the save. Here we go, the face-off to the right of the Abitibi goalie. Champagne's out there for Abitibi, Perrin's out there to take the face-off for North Bay. North Bay wins the draw, Gather takes a quick shot, just wide of the net. Daly's going for the puck now, Brian has it in the corner, Brian tosses it back to Daly. Sharon Renault tops down, and I believe that's going to be an icing call on Abitibi with 3.39 to play in the second period. Four, still 4-2 for your North Bay Skyhawks. And here we go to the right side again. Champagne and Brianne's out there to take the face off. Ref still waiting. Both players got kicked out and now Daly's gonna take it. No. Holt's gonna take it for North Bay. Holt wins the draw back to Daly, back to Gather. Gather drops it back in. Hullet has the puck now. Stiles is going for it. Brianne's there to pick it up. Tosses it back. Pull back to Brianne. Stiles is going for the puck. Out in front, goal, Holt! And it's now five for two for North Bay Skyhawks as he put that top shelf for Mommy Hearts, the cookie jar. A beautiful goal there by Sylvan Holt. That's gonna move him up into sixth place in the scoring title, tying him with Matt Coburn of the Rayside Belfort Sabercats. Well then. All the momentum that had is now gone as North Bay makes it 5-2. North Bay registering just its fifth shot on net this period and capitalizing on it. And here we go, Abitibi wins the bay. face off. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell past the blue line. Mitchell drops it in, but Cloutier is there to grab the puck. Puck's back out in front. And here we go, McKee has the puck now with the lead. Cloutier coming up, can't get by it. Machina makes the quick Good defensive play there by Stitt. Not letting the Skyhawk forward get to the net and allowing Sheenan to cover up the puck. With 3.07 left in the second period, 5-2 for the North Bay Skyhawks. North Bay wins the face off. Mullins has it, Mullins shoots. Another goal as Goulet has now made it 6-2 for North Bay. Oh, he said that 
A bad goal given up there by Sheenan. Goulet was right on the doorstep there on the rebound to pick up the garbage and put it in the back of the net to put the North Bay Skyhawks ahead by four goals with three minutes remaining in the second period. You gotta be thinking that Abitibi is gonna be making a goalie change soon. Three minutes left. Landry's gonna take the face off. Daryl Goulet, that's his seventh goal of the season. Here comes Mitchell, drops it in. They're right there to pick it up as Mullins has to puck now. Mullins comes out. Mullins drops it in. Mitchell picks up the puck. Mitchell tosses it back up. Abitibi can't keep control of the puck. North Bay putting more pressure onto the Abitibi goalie. And oh! Upstairs where Mommy hides the cookie jar. It's now 72 for Skyhawks. I believe that was Ryan McKee scoring the goal for the Skyhawks. And the wheels have really fallen off the wagon here for the Eskimos. They're showing a great first three quarters of the period. Now everything just seems to be falling apart. Sheenan looks really shaken up by the three goals he's given up. And you may be looking to put in your backup goaltender. He doesn't look like his head's in the game. And here we go. North Bay wins the draw again. Rolla just drops it right back in. And there's a quick face off as Sheenan makes one save this period. I think Sheenan's going to cover up everything he can here to gain confidence by keeping that puck in front of him. Oh, he, he has to or it's going top shelf. Here we go, the face-offs to the left side of Abitibi's goalie. Abitibi finally wins the draw. Bath passes it back to Lafert. Lafert back up the path. Bath. Here we go, North, Abitib North Bay takes the puck away from Abitibi. As Lorette has it now, drops it right back in. And Sheenan sets up, passes it, loses it. And here comes Champagne, who gets tripped up. No, oh. And we have a penalty coming to the North Bay Skyhawks no. here. Yes. That's Lafontaine going to the penalty box for slashing, I believe. Yes, it is for slashing with 2.06. So this penalty kill should take us to the end of the second period. The Eskimos really have to capitalize on this power play here, Matt. Yes, they do. They really lost momentum within the past two minutes. And it seems if they are going to have any chance of winning this game or getting back into it Champagne's all Champagne's going to take the draw for Abitibi, who wins it. Bath dumps it right back in, dumps it into the North Bay end. North Bay is just going to dump the puck right down the ice. With a, lead, with a lead like this, I don't think there's any need to pressure the puck down in the offensive end right now on a no. penalty kill. You can see how they're setting up with all four in the neutral zone. Just dump that puck in. Bath is there to pick it up. Bath sets up in his own end, starts skating with it. Bath takes, starting to take it on his own. Dumps it in, but it goes out, out of play, and that stops the clock. Don't know what's wrong with the Tibby right now. They were back in this game, and then they just dropped. That's really got to hurt your team, allowing 10 shots in the final four minutes of the period and allowing four goals on those 10 shots. Styles has the puck for Abitibi, back to Stitt. Stitt carries it, stick drop, stick drop it off. Mullins for North Bay picks it up and gets it tossed right out of the end. Styles for Abitibi comes back to pick it up, goes behind his own net, sets up, waiting for everyone to get into place. Styles gets the pass right back to him. Wolfer now has it, tosses it into the North Bay zone. Van Gulen gets it. He gets right past Sticks. Styles goes back to grab the puck, and it's one minute remaining in the second period. Styles has the puck in his own end, getting it set up. Here we go again for Abitibius. Trebol takes the puck. Trebol comes through. Oh, Moore has it now. He loses the puck, and Stitz keeps it in. Right in front, can't get control. Oh! Could have, come, could have scored there. Stitz still has the puck. Playing tic-tac-toe with it, tosses it back down into the corner. Wynn now has it, but loses it to Waffle. Waffle out in front, loses it to Brian. Here goes Brian and Gather. Gather skating up one on one. Shoots and sells, makes a nice little block, not to get the shot to the goalie. 
Looks like we have a penalty here coming to the Abitibi Eskimos. There's 16 seconds left in the period, 10 seconds left in North Bay's penalty. Looks like North Bay is going to start the third period on the penalty and on the power play. Sorry about that. The penalty's going to number 10, Dan Wafer of the Eskimos. Okay, and the fans are in the game now with this last 16 seconds. The face off's going to be the left side of the Abitibi goalie. Colt wins it back, Gather shoots. Goes for the puck, shoots. Oh, nice stick save. Here we go. Paulie's going for the puck. Gets hit, and the ref gets taken down with it. There's Daly, drops it back, and that should take us to the end of the second period. And at the end of the second period, it is your North Bay Skyhawk 7 and the Abitibi Eskimos 2. Perhaps they can come back and put it in, but I think this is the right decision by the coaching staff to put this young man in that for the third period. We did say that there would be a goal and change, and we are right. Oh. Jason Kuchis getting a little prize for being the best scorer. He's, he was the coach's pick of the week as the best overall player. Uh, but Tibby's giving, giving some words of advice to the new goaltender in that for this game. Landry's going to be taking the face off for the Skyhawks. And I do believe... This is a tough situation for a new yes, goaltender to come in. Down by one player, down by five goals, no warm-up shots taken. Here we go, Wind goes for the puck. And a stoppage in play with 11 seconds gone in the third period. A minute 33 left in the Eskimos uh, penalty. And a face off deep in the Eskimo zone. Landry's wanna take this, Landry's wanna take the face off for North Bay. Trumbley takes it, North Bay wins it. Wind has the puck. Wind dumps back in, Landry can't get to it. Go Goye is gonna go for it. North Bay, Abitibi steals the puck, Abitibi tries to get it out. Gatherer still has it in the corner. Goulet goes for it, puck gets dropped off to McKee, but McKee goes into the core of the Styles. Now Landry's here to pick up the puck. No one's in front to get Wind and it's a nice quick save for the new goaltender. And here we go. Landry's still out there to take the face off. Trombley's out there for North, for uh, Abitibi, I should say. Landry wins the draw. Poli has the puck for them and tries to get it out, and he does. As the puck gets past the window, Shell's out there to take to get the puck. Gatherin has it. Gatherin has the puck now. And here comes the North Bay Skyhawks. As Wynn has the puck, he crosses over Abitibi's blue line. Shoots off. 
Little high, little wide. Gather has the puck now. He passes it over to Wynn. Wynn loses control. Wynn passes it back to Gather. Gather it over. Waiting, waiting inside. Can't get a good shot. Paulie has it and clears it down. There's now 25 seconds left in the Abitibi penalty. North Bay's gone two shots on net so far in, in this period. That's a nice little hit there by uh, LaBelle. Lord Ray has it, drops it in. Out the roll, goes for it. Bath is there to pick it up for Aperture. North Bay has it, North Bay shoots. Plugs loose out in front, Abitibi steals it. Here we go, a three on two is breaking out. Pauly has it, Waffle has to wait for it. Oh, getting an elbow up. LaBelle has it, LaBelle shoots, just wide. Waffle's there to pick up the puck, keeps it in the North Bay end, dumps it back into the corner. Kluge is there to pick it up for North Bay. The bell's hitting. The bell has the puck, loses it. Gather picks it up. Passes it wide. It's going to be a nice and call on the Skyhawks. The faceoff will now be deep in Skyhawks territory. Fullerton's looking a little cold here. I noticed he bobbled the puck on an easy shot from the point there a couple minutes ago. North Bay wins the faceoff, and there's Wolfo with the puck. Brings back to Holt, and the puck heads down the ice. Camerlero has the puck for Abitibi. Gets the puck passed right back to him. Starts up in the middle of his own end. Comes past his own blue line, dumps the puck in. There's no icing call on the play. Lafleur's there to try and get it. Roy keeps it in for Abitibi. Abitibi. Camerlero has it now for Abitibi. Deep into the corner. Sets it up, passes it back. Lafayette has it, drops it back. Champagne goes for it now. Cameron's out in front, but Daly's there to pick it up and get it tossed out. Roy's there to pick it up. Roy passes out in front. O'Shell's there to get rid of the puck. Brand now has the puck behind his own net. Sets up, passes to Medjean. Medjean takes it past. Red line gets into the Abitibi zone. Brand's there to pick up the puck, stops, turns around, comes through, passes it to Wynn. Wynn shoots just wide. Gathered keeps it in for the for North Bay as Daly goes for the puck and deep in the corner now with Stitz. They're fighting for it. Looks like Stitz, oh no. Daly keeps the puck right between his skates. Daly's digging for it. And there's finally the whistle. We're almost five minutes into this third period. Still 7-2 for the North Bay Skyhawks. They've had three shots in this period to have Tabby's one shot. North Bay's really not holding back anything. Three shots already so far in this period. They're not they're playing good defense along with some strong offense. North Bay wins it as Van Gulen goes for the faceoff, but Abitabi steals. Abitabi sets it up, but Gather keeps it in. Kicks it there, but Styles is there to pick it up for Abitabi. Sets it up, passes it to Pauly. Pauly goes in. Oh, what a hit by Wynn. Solid hit along the boards by number two, Wynn, for the North Bay Skyhawks. Nothing like a good hit in the afternoon to wake you up. North Bay gets set up, loses the puck as it goes right to Styles for Abit Hibby. Mitchell's on the other side, who gets the puck. Mitchell passes it. Oh, and it's a two line pass on Abit Hibby. The face off will be in your end. A couple words being said here at center ice by Mowgli and number three of the Abitibi Eskimos. Here we go, it's Van Gulen's going to take the face off. Van Gulen wins it, but it goes right to Styles. Styles tears it up, Champagne's there with him, Styles just dumps it in. Champagne goes for the puck. Pilon and McGillian and Midgley are still talking. North Bay has control of the puck in their own end. Midsley has it now as he comes out of his own end. Turns around, heads back to the blue line, passes it there to Mullen. Mullen dumps it, in, dumps it into the Abitibi zone. Here's a good solid hit. North Bay has control of the puck. They're fighting for it now. Mitchell takes it and dumps it in. Wolchel's there to get it and drops it off to Mullen. And now there's a fight going on between Mitchell and well, 
Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That fight's over. A little more push and shoving going on. Mobley and Mitchell still having a bit of words after that fight. I don't think they're talking about going in for coffee or anything tonight. Emotions are running high here down by Clyde Bowles. Oh, I think Mitchell's being kicked out. Mitchell looks a little upset about that. I believe he got five minutes plus the game misconduct. That can't make Abitampi too proud as they lose a defenseman. They're now just discussing what's going to happen. Five minutes gone here in the third period. Score still 7-2 for the North Bay Skyhawks. Shots 33-17 also in favor of the North Bay Skyhawks. Well, Abitib is going to be on the power play for two minutes. As Kluge can't, does get the puck out of there. I thought Abitib was going to be accepted in. Quest has it now to Laffer. Laffer has the puck, passes it across. Bath now picks it up, dumps it off. Mullins is there to free shampoo. Puck goes across, pass the fur right to McKee. McKee's going to take it out. Oh, no. Now Cloutier has it. Bath tried to take him out, but that didn't happen. And here we go. Abitibi's in their own end. 40 seconds gone from this power play. Bath takes. Bath takes down Goulet, but there's no call. Dunquist has the puck now, passes it to Tremblay. Tremblay has the puck for Abitibi, passes it out there to Laufer. Now it's Laufer and just dumps the puck into the corner. Dunquist picks it up at the point. Dumps it off. Laufer now has it. And now Tremblay has it. He shoots. Nice save. Oh. That's a nice kick save by Ancho over there. Very nice save right there on that play. He was down and out, stuck that left leg up, got it on the puck and knocked it over the glass. Champagne's here, taking the face off for Abitibi, loses it though to Lundry and North Bay clears the puck out of their own end. And now Adura is going for the puck. Stitz now has the puck for Abitibi behind his own net, getting set up, passes to Champagne. Champagne carries the puck through the ice, gets past one player, Champagne still has the puck. Can't do anything with it and he dumps it out of the uh, North Bay end. Stitt now has the puck for Abitibi, gets set up. Now it's a two on one. Waiting, waiting, passes it off. Oh. And the net comes off, it's Morins. But there's no whistle. As they're laying from play goal. Stitch now has the puck. Landry hits him. Styles has it, passes it to Champagne. Champagne passes it back to Styles. Styles passes back to Champagne. Gathered now has it. Style shoots, loose puck out in front, loose puck, loose puck. North Bay now has the puck. North Bay drops it right back out and the penalty is now over. Great save by O'Shell on that scramble down in their end. Bath now has the puck for Abitibi. Gets it dropped down and I believe that's gonna be an icing call. We have a stoppage of play here with six, eight minutes gone, sorry, in the third period. Score is still 7-2 in favor of the Skyhawks. Here we go with the faceoff. North Bay wins it. Takes a quick shot, just wide of the net. Wolf, Wolf is there to keep it in. Back to Van Gulen. Van Gulen has it. 
comes out of the own end, shoots. That's a nice save. You gotta be liking the save by the new goaltender. Also a very nice play by the North Bay Skyhawk Ben Bruin to get out from behind the net and get a quality oh, shot on net. He's got a little more hockey music playing. Here we go, Honeysett's gonna take the draw for North Bay. He wins it, kicks it back. Wolfel has it, he shoots. Blocked by Abitibi's LaBelle. LaBelle comes out with Pilon now. Goes past one, goes past two, shoots. Oh, just wide. All right, and here we go. Abitibi has the puck in their own end, tosses it around the boards. LaBelle has it for Abitibi and passes it right back to Baskets, past him to Barlon. Holette steals, Holette out in front. Oh, that's a nice save. LaBelle now has the puck. He's starting out, Tremblay's with him, so is Pilon, but he loses the puck to Brand. Brand has the puck, passes out in front. Oh, right in front. Holette's out in front, and the passes it back to Kluge. Kluge shoots, oh! Nice kick save, and the puck goes down the end. There's no icy, no shells out there to play the puck. Fullerton's really looking sharp in nets for the Eskimos. Colette has the puck. There's two guys on him now. Tambo has the puck. Brian steals, Brian shoots. That's a nice glove save. Colette has the puck for North Bay again. Mullins goes for the puck deep in the corner and loses it. Brian picks it up. Brian holds on, passes it to Daly. Daly's behind the net. Daly's getting set up. Daly dumps back off. Colette picks it up. Brian's out in front. Holette comes out behind the net, set up, still set up, set, set. Oh. Another and nice save by Fullerton for the Eskimos. Really oh, he's really coming to this game strong. This third period is just fun as we are at the halfway mark for it now. There's 10.42 left in this game, still 7 to 2. If the Eskimos are going to do something to get themselves back into this game, they better do it quick. The Andrews want to take the draw for North Bay and Champagne's want to take Robin Tibby. North Bay wins it, but Abitibi steals. Tremero just dumps it out, and there's going to be another face-off. Got to be thinking Abitibi's just playing too much of a defensive game, no offense. Landry's there to get the draw, wins it. Guthrie takes it, loses, can't get the shot off. Puck stolen. Wins back there to pick it up, though. And there's a penalty coming to high, for high sticking. I believe it's going to number 25. Jason Gothray, two minutes for high sticking. That's another penalty power play for Abitibi. Let's see if they can get anything started on this one. Hopefully the Eskimos can generate some shots on this power play and get some shots on net and in the net to get themselves back into this game. Champagne's want to take the draw for Abitibi, and here we go. Abitibi wins the draw, back to Bath. Bath dumps it back in, Champagne goes for it. It's picked up, Abitibi has it. Loose puck now out in front, Wynn's digging for it, Champagne gets to it. But Goulet's there, can't get it right out, there we go. McKee hits him. And here comes Goulet all by himself. Goulet shoots. Oh, nice little stick save there. Bath has the puck. Goes behind his own net. Gets set up. And here we go. Lomre has it. Right back to Bath. Here's Olet again. Bath tosses it. Styles. Styles back to Bath. There's now a minute 20 left in the power play for Abitibi. They're just not getting anything started in this power play. Bath is back in his own net. Right behind his net again. Bath waits, Bath gets set up, Bath starts skating out by himself. Bath passes it up to the left rib but loses the stick. Champagne's there to pick it up and there's Walfler. Can't get the pass across to Walfler though. Lodre passes it. Walfler has it back to Bath. Bath shoots. Pretty easy save for Rochelle. Very easy save for Rochelle here in the late in the third period.
two minutes for slashing going to McKee, which will give Abitabi a two-man power, a two-man power play for two minutes and 52 seconds. See if they can get anything started. Here we go, the puck gets tossed around and gets cleared out. Stitz is there to pick it up. Stitz has it, takes it out of his own end, passes the blue line, passes it up to Moore. Moore waits, waiting, goes around the back of the net, getting it set up, passes back to Dunquest. Dunquest back to Stitt. Stitt can't do anything. And Mullins gets the puck tossed out of the end. Dunquest is going back for it. Dunquest waits behind his net, comes out, passes the puck back up. And here we go, a three, three on three. Abitibi has the puck behind the North Bay net, can't get anything out, and there's another penalty going. Another one coming to North Bay. Skyhawks are really digging their self a hole now. Three men in the box here with eight minutes left. Now, of course, his penalty won't start until the first penalty is gone. That has six seconds in it. And then now Batibi will be left with a three minute and 14 second power play. Now, again, a two man advantage. Well, this is their opportunity here, Matt, to get themselves back in the game. Let's see if they can there capitalize. Here we go, Stitz has the puck back up the point. Stitz waits, Stitz waits, Stitz passes to Dunquest. Dunquest waits, passes it, passes it down behind the net. Holding, holding back to Dunquest. Dunquest waits, 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 passes it to Stitz. Stitz holds, holds, shoots. Rifle, nice save. And the puck gets cleared down by their own teammate. If Eskimos are going to score on those point shots, they really got to get somebody in front of the net to block the goalie's view. Stitz takes the puck, Stitz comes across the red line, comes across North Bay's blue line, drops the puck, but loses the puck. And it gets tossed right down the Abitidi zone. Dunquest is not there, but Landry takes it. Oh, goodness. Oh, good night. He's not moving. Oh, he's down. And Duquette goes into the boards hard, face first, trying to track down a puck deep in his hand. hand he, see, and he seemed to have caught an edge, fell face first into the boards. He's not moving, folks. Is he out? This is very serious. And Bruce Renwick, the trainer for the Abitibi Eskimos, is out to check on him. He's still not moving. That, this is a very scary situation in a hockey game, folks. I believe his leg, his right leg starting to move, so that's showing good sign and he's moving. Whenever you see a player go into the boards head first, ugh. Trainer seems to be checking out his knee almost as if he hit his knee on the boards when he came in and jammed it. You gotta think of spinal damage in situations like that. There's not much you can really see at a time like this, except you hope the guy's going to be okay. Looks like they were really focusing on his knees there for a minute. He went into the boards on his knees, tried to protect himself with his hands. Sure does, sure does look like he's in a lot of pain. He's starting to move, but could, could be his ankles broken or sprained. You hope nothing's really wrong with hockey players because they go through a lot of hard work just to get to this point and anything can set them back years. He's moving his head, which is a good sign. It means there's no neck or spinal injury. And they're going to help him. They're going to help him off the ice here. It looks like this could be a very, very costly injury to the Eskimos. The fans here at Memorial Gardens gave him a round of applause. He could be heading to North Bay General Hospital to get some x-rays done, because this is serious stuff. Looks like he's favoring his right leg there, Matt. Maybe he jammed his knee when he hit the boards. Anything could have happened. Yeah. Oh. We're not sure what's going to happen with this, but yeah. 
That's very, very dangerous. I believe it's his left leg, not his right leg there, Tony. You don't, you don't, you don't like to see that happen to any player in no. any league. Bay is getting a penalty out of this uh, and there's, out of this play here. There's the Maddox going to check on Dunquest. You're pray he's not hurt in any way because that was just brutal. He could he if it's his knee, it could be his MCL or his ACL, ankle, Achilles tendon. You just don't want to think about it because his gear, everything he's worked for, could be over very very fast. And here we go, North Bay is going to be stuck on the power play, it looks like, on the penalty kill for the rest of the period, I believe. The puck gets cleared out. Abertavy grabs it. Bully plays at the bath, bath dumps it around the net. Lavier is going to get pick it up. And here we go. Stitz has it, passes to Lafer. Lafer goes past Wynn. That can't be good when you hear a doctor being addressed in the locker room. Stitz has it, passes back to Bath. Bath holds, passes back to Stitz. Stitz shoots, blocked by a North Bay player. Passes down there to Champagne. Champagne has it, passes it across. Can't get anything done. Bath has the puck beyond the net, comes out, drops it off to Champagne. Champagne shoots, nice easy save for on shell. Wentz trying to get rid of the puck. Van Gulen now has it, loses it. Passes it back to the point. Stitz has it to Bath. Bath shoots. Win now has it for North Bay. Trying and gets it cleared out. The Eskimos are really going to have to start taking some shots here. They've had lots of opportunities. They just seem to pass it off. And that's one. And now one penalty is done. It'll be five on four for another four minutes. As North Bay got. Five minutes for crossing from for cross checking from behind and a game misconduct. So all North Bay really has to do is just drop the puck out of the end for another four minutes, and that's probably going to be game. Stitz has it behind his own net, comes on out, passes the puck. Tromboy has it now, passes it back to Stitz. Stitz holds on, passes it to Bath. Tromboy picks it up. Drakowski on the far side. Comes through, loses the puck. Paulie's going for it. Styles keeps it in. Styles passes to Roy. Roy loses it between his legs. Dale gets it. Paulie keeps it in. Paulie's going into the corner. Paulie shoots. Easy save for Onquest. There goes the puck into the corner, and there goes Daly clearing the puck. Roy keeps it in. Roy shoots. Abitibi has it. Trust. He can't score it back there for Paulie. North Bay steals in. Here comes Daly. Daly comes out of his own end. It's a one on two for Daly, gets past Roy, takes a quick shot, and it's a nice easy save. Here we go, Trukowski gets hit there by Gathered, and now Hunnestet comes back to grab the puck, over to Wynn. Wynn gets set up and dumps down. Roy has to hurry up as Hullet's on his tail. Hullet steals it from him, can't get it in front, and Styles has the puck now. And here we go. Gather it has it and dumps it right back into the Abitibi zone. There's now two minutes left on this five minute power play for Abitibi. And there's 4.45 left in the game. And here, we co here comes Abitibi again. As Moore has it, Moore just dumps it right into the end. Onshell takes it and flips it out. Styles keeps it, shoots. Oh! oh magnific magnificent save by O'Shell there. And the puck goes out of play. He was really out of position on that shot there, but he got back in the net, stuck out that left leg, and made the save. Four minutes and 30. 28 seconds remaining here in the third period. And here North we go, Honeysat steals the puck. Still has it, shoots. That's a nice quick save. And Abitabi covers up the puck. 
Fullerton covers up a puck on a tricky play there. The puck is bouncing around between his legs, but he managed to close his pads and freeze the puck for a face-off down deep in the Eskimo zone with 419 left in the third period. We're trying to find what what happened to Dunquist on that play, but we're not quite sure right now. The medics won't let us in the dressing room. Cool, that's going to take the face off for the Skyhawks. Goulette wins it, dumps it into the... Styles now has it. Back to Pauly. Pauly has it, dumps it behind his net, back to Styles. Styles has it. End of the corner, starts coming up by himself. And Abitepi now has a penalty. And here comes North Bay to the attack. Goulette has it for the Skyhawks. Drops it off. LaFontaine takes the shot, that's a hard slap shot. Nice save. Stells gets it out, right to Pauly. Here we go, LaFontaine shoots. Beautiful oh. play by the Skyhawks there. Can't go wrong with that. Textbook play. Olant has it, passes it back. Lafontaine has it, drops it into the corner. There goes Adrien again, passes it back to Goulant. Goulant has it, comes out, oh. Passes it right to Cheminsky. Cheminsky gets rid of it and it goes down the ice. A little update about the injured Abitibi Ab player as he's being carried out on a stretch, so that cannot be good news. Brian has the puck, passes it there to MacArthur. MacArthur has it, drops it back off to Wolstler. Wolstler has it, falls, but gets rid of the puck in time. Bath takes it, drops it right back into the North Bay end. LaFontaine goes for the puck in the North Bay end. LaFontaine just tosses it right out. With 2.40 left in the game, LaBelle has it now, loses it. Pylon picked it up. LaBelle's going for it in the North Bay end, and that's an icing call. There's 18 seconds left in the North Bay penalty and 17 seconds left in the Abitibi player penalty. A couple words here having by LaBelle and MacArthur. Can't go wrong with a few words. A little pushing and shoving. A little. LaBelle seems to be a little frustrated about something. Brian's going to take the face off with the Skyhawks, wins it back to the point. Mullins has oh, oh, we got a fight, boys and girls. It's Bath. Here we go. Oh, look at them flying it at center ice. Oh, oh boys and girls, if you're missing this, you know what you're missing. Some good sportsmanship shown there at the end of the fight by Bath and Clouche. Oh, yeah. The embrace, the crowd sure love that one. It looks like Bath may be hurting tomorrow morning after that free for all. Clouche just said good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. With 2.32 left in the third period, you gotta think that's gonna be game. And there goes Bath off to the dressing room. <laughs> gotta clean up the mess now. Well, Matt, it looks like the hopes are over for the Abitib Eskimos here with two minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the third period, down by five goals. Well, what you can basically say is, Grandma, get in the fast lane, because you can go to bingo now. Beer has the, he's going to take the face off. Wins it, gets it into the Abitibi zone. Styles goes for it. Styles just dumps it right back out. That's going to destroy both power plays. And both teams will be five on five for a while. Stitz is going for the puck in the corner. MacArthur takes him out. Passes it to McGolan. McGolan shoots. Oh! He scores top shelf for Mommy hides the cookie jar. Beautiful goal by the North Bay Skyhawks there with 208 remaining in the third. You can't go wrong with an 8-2 victory, boys and girls. Once again, the Abitibi Eskimos defense collapsed there. The Skyhawks forward had all day in the slot to pick where he wanted to put that one. And as we take a look, quick. Look, quick look at the shots. North Bay has 19 more shots than Abitibi as it's 45 for North Bay, 26 for Abitibi. 45 shots on net. 
You can't expect a goaltender to stop all those shots during a game. Not Superman. And here we go with two minutes left of the game. Styles has the puck pass the stick. North Bay Skyhawks goal scored by Kyle Van Gronen. Champagne has the puck, comes across the red line, dumps it in. Waffler is out there with more, I believe. Waffler and Van Gulen are playing for it. Gets kicked into the edge. Champagne play now has the puck. And here we go with 1.30 left in the game. The Skyhawks are just looking to end this game on a positive note, and just like they're going to do that. LaFontaine passes it there to Van Gulen, who passes it there to Honeyquest. Honeyquest gets past Styles but can't get to the puck. It looks like Champagne picks it up, passes it back to Stitz. Aperture becomes right into the North Bay zone. LaFontaine picks up the puck, passes it right behind the net. Dumps right back down. Parlon picks up for Aperture, loses control of it, and here goes Daly. It's a three on one. Abiturbi picks it up in the corner, and here goes Parlon chasing for it with Mullins back there to pick it up. Passes it across to Win. Win loses it. Oh, Holt went to hit Tremblay. It didn't happen. Win picks up the puck, dumps it back in, and there's no icing call on the play. Styles picks it up. Lorette's there to get freedom. Steals the puck, passes it to Holt. Holt out in front. Brand trying to get to the puck. Oh! Just missed the far side of the net. Here comes the bell, passes it. To, can't get it past. Oh, shot in the back, and here we go. We got a penalty coming here. The bell with a cheap shot hit from behind along the boards. And now he's pretending to be down. That's, come on, that's not sportsmanship. We don't need to see that kind of play. There we go, LaBelle's heading out now. There's 18 seconds left in the third period. I'd like to say that it was a treat doing the Skyhawks game and it's gonna turn out for a victory for them. 18 seconds left here. Skyhawks up by six goals. Parents put the children to bed. I started scratching my back with razor blades. It's not looking too good for Abitibi, and here we go. LaBelle not too happy after receiving game misconduct here with Tremblay will take probably the, the last face off of the game, win it, passes it back. Stalls has it. Stalls loses it to Daly. Holt picks it up, loses it to Tremblay. Tremblay shoots just wide. And boys and girls, that is the game. Congratulations to the North Bay Skyhawks. Congratulations to the North Bay Skyhawks who pick up, who pick up their 15th win of the season. For the final score, eight to two in favor of the North Bay Skyhawks. Yeah. Very good game. You cannot go wrong with the Skyhawks victory. Tony, it's been a pleasure doing the game with you, my man. Same to you, my friend, Matt. A great effort put forward here by the North Bay Skyhawks. Oh, they yes. came out strong, had a couple weak moments in the second period. They gathered their uh, thoughts, came together, formed as a team, came up with eight goals here. Good performance here at the Memorial Gardens today. As for Avin Tibby, they'll probably hit the bus now and they're going, to, they're going to want to calm down after a game like this with emotions yeah. running high, losing out by six goals. They want to calm their thoughts, get ready for their next game. It's tough for a goalie with Sheenan's quality to get, you know, six goals put in oh, yeah. on him in the, in the first two periods of the game. What a long shot. And my prayers and Tony's prayers both go out to Dun to uh, Abitidi's Dunquest, who pr I pray that he's not badly injured and he can return for maybe next week or the week after that. That'd be very nice to see. 
Well, Matt, uh, it looks like this is going to end our day here at the Memorial yep. Gardens with uh, final score, North Bay Skyhawks 8-2 over the Abitibi Eskimos. Uh, so thank you for watching this game on Kojiko Cable. And I'd like to thank you for supporting your North Bay Skyhawks. It's been a pleasure working with you, Matt.